right? We need to sort some stuff out. It's like what? I've been thinking about how we get through this cane thing. Oh, good. Because short of running him over, which I'm up for, by the way. <laughs> Listen to me. We wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for us. You know, being together, I mean. We both know that. Yeah, OK. I know. I'm sorry for being a bit thick sometimes as well. I guess I've just been dragging my heels because of what this is all about. Yeah, him. Splitting us up. That's all he's interested Which in. Which is never going to happen, babe. Yeah, but at what cost? I mean, what if he completely loses it? He is not going to stop us from getting married. No. But maybe... No, until he realises that. What, put it off? At least until we get him away from Priya. Look, until we know he's willing to back off. And then he'll just think he's won, won't he? For now. But while it's like this, my mum and dad are frightened to death. So you're just going to give in? You've admitted yourself. You know he's a complete nutter. Yes. And what if he does something worse? Whether it's with Priya or any of them. Whose conscience is that going to be on? I can't believe you're even saying this. There is no way anybody is stopping this wedding. What else can we do? I love you. You know that. Not enough, obviously. I couldn't find my DS. All right. I'm not doing this now, yeah? Come on. Not in. You'll have to speak to him, cos I'm not. <clears throat> Important garage business. It's called work, in case you were wondering. Tell her we called round. Yeah, I'm fine, by the way. Oh, I doubt more about this, but don't try and explain yourself, Kane. We've all had enough of you. Debbie, get in, then. Whatever's going on between you and him, keep it away from Debbie and Sarah. Zach? They're a bit funny with me and all. Just doesn't work on some people, does it? Something upset you, sweetheart. I told you if you didn't back off over me and Jay that I would tell Debbie about you and Amy. Well, that was a complete waste of time, wasn't it? So what are you going to do? Tell her. I'd say we've just about reached that stage, yeah. Fine, you go ahead. But if you think Jay's family have been going through an unusual run of bad luck at the moment, just wait till I really get started. How much worse can it get? I don't know. Try me. You're all talk. Listen, you're the only one who knows I'm not. So you say nothing to Debbie. Do you hear me? Nothing. Hey. Oh, joy. Maybe we should go somewhere else for a drink, eh? And let him win that one as well. No way. I can get you one. I don't want anything off you. Except for... Oh, and there she is. I think you might find that's her choice. Look, we just came here for a quiet drink, OK? Oh, I could really do with a baseball bat behind it. Yeah, I could do with borrowing it. Yeah, and you'd need it, you big soft pauser. Is everything all right? Cos you're looking a little nervous. Oi! You're talking to me. Not him or her. You're really boring me. Good, because I'm telling you again, stay away from my family. What, you mean you're not so little sister? Look, do we have to? Jay, can we just go, please? I mean all of them. Mum and Dad and us. In fact, especially us. Cos you'll be family soon, won't you? Yeah, babe. Right, are you going to order a drink or are you just going to stand around slagging each other off? I think we'll give it a miss tonight. Come back when it's a bit quieter. Yeah, and I've got stock date to do. See you, mate. Well, grab one at yours, yeah? Yeah. yeah come on. Can still go out, you know. You know, I've kind of lost the urge now. <laughs> I know what you think, I'm paranoid. That was before. And I was bang out of order. He's getting to me. I can't help it. Well, you might have had a point earlier. 
About what? The wedding. Maybe. Thinking about it, maybe we should call it off. For now, I mean. I was only thinking about putting it off for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but if he's got nothing to have a go at us about, then we don't have to keep looking over our shoulder every two minutes, do we? I won't, you mean. Not going to do anything to you, is he? I don't know what he's going to do. But he scares me more than he scares you, babe. The thing is, even if we do postpone everything, what happens when we set a new date? He'll have backed off by then. Yeah, but what if he doesn't? The logical conclusion to that argument is... is that we split up altogether. Have you been talking to anyone else about this? Your mum and dad? Nikhil. Jenny. Them? Before me? Oh, not like that. I just want us to get married. You know, why can't we have that? Other people seem to manage. Other people don't have cane breathing down the necks, do they? Anyway, like you said, it's just going to be for a couple of weeks. You could try and look convinced. I mean, what's changed all of a sudden? It was only this morning you were ripping my head off for even thinking about it. I am it. frightened of him! You weren't before. And anyway, I'm not. I'm frightened of what he can do to other people. We'll get through this. When, though? <sighs> so it's off. For now. What else can we do? No family? No little help us to back you up. I'm fine on my own, thanks. Bet Charity don't know you're here. You got what you wanted. The wedding's off. Your idea or hers? Mutual consent. Oh. Shame that. Yeah, right. Now you know. You can stay away from Priya. I'm sorry, what's that got to do with anything? That's the deal. You leave Priya alone, and you leave my family alone. Am I breaking any laws here, or what? Not that I can prove. Not yet. You know, you surprised me, Jay. I never had you down for being such a coward as to call your own wedding off. Me, a coward? I'm not the one sneaking round poisoning cats. You're a loser, Jay. I can tell just by looking at you. When you called it off, she did. You think this is over? Well, it's not. You might be winning for now. But there is a long, long way to go before I'm done. 